Welcome to Imix Group's webinar on how to discover new public sector IT sales opportunities. My name is Barbara Austin, and I am the Market Intelligence Database Manager here at Imix Group. Over the next several minutes, Tim Knob, who is the Market Intelligence Data Analyst, and I are going to talk about the resources you need to be looking at to identify new opportunities. As a sales rep, you know the importance of getting in the door early so you can shape the procurement process. And this webinar will give you the tools you need to do just that. We'll look into various resources, like the Exhibit 53s, that outline all the federal government IT programs. The 53 gives industry good insight into future opportunities. And for the market intelligence team, this is really the foundation of our public sector research when it comes to the IT budget and uncovering opportunities for our suppliers and channel partners. Then, we'll dive into other resources, like an agency's annual budget, that will also help you identify new opportunities early in the sales process. The agency budget documents are an excellent resource because they give you a really good idea of where an agency is going in terms of technology. So a lot of this information is publicly available, and most people in industry probably already know about it. But then, what you do with that information next is really how you can set yourself apart from the competition. The amount of information the government provides can be daunting, and it can be difficult to take a high-level document and then map it back to make it relevant for you and your customers. Or when you're at a dead end, when calling a potential customer, where do you turn next? That's what this webinar will help break down for you today. After we reviewed the various resources that will help you become an informed salesperson, we'll then learn a number of tips and tricks used by the market intelligence team to uncover program offices and key contacts. I've been in this business for over 20 years, and I know identifying program offices and key contacts is one of the most challenging jobs you have as a sales rep. I'll share with you a number of tried and true techniques that will help you uncover valuable information, contacts, and ultimately opportunities. Then I'll give you a peek at Imix Group's proprietary database. This is our home page. As you can imagine, examining all the various resources that the government publishes and conducting primary research is time consuming and challenging work. In order for the market intelligence team to scale our offerings, we created an internal database that houses information from all of these resources. The Exhibit 53, for example, has 7,000 line items. Managing 7,000 investments is difficult, and identifying the right opportunity out of all that data isn't easy. So what the MI team did was we created 68 technology segment areas as a way to bridge the gap between the way government talks about technology and the way industry talks about technology. And what we did was we built a database and we tagged all those 7,000 line items with our 68 segments so we can easily search on a specific technology term and find the right opportunities. And in this example, we searched cyber, security, and analytics. And we were able to quickly identify over 3,100 programs and 3,700 contacts specific to those technology terms. Because of this database, our call campaigns have a contact-to-meeting ratio well into the double digits. Now, this far exceeds the industry standard of 3 to 5 percent. Now, I will turn it over to Tim Knob, who will give you a brief overview of the new market intelligence analytics offering, including statistical install base analysis. Thank you, Barbara. So identifying opportunities in closing sales with new customers is of the utmost importance in the public sector marketplace. Pretty obvious, right? But what about those existing customers who have already purchased your products and services? In other words, are you missing out on sales opportunities within your install base? In this presentation, I'll walk you through why suppliers should care about install base campaigns and share a bit about how I deliver this information. Because no matter how you're looking to gauge your install base, Amix Market Intelligence can support your campaign, and this webinar will highlight how we do that. You could be looking to notify your customer base of a new product release, 
or a complementary product that could enhance their existing solution. Or maybe you want to conduct customer health checks or satisfaction surveys to make sure they're effectively using your products or prepare your customers for an end of life or end of service date while advocating your technology refresh. The market intelligence analytics team can provide data cleansing, preparation, and analysis of your install base to determine the most likely buyers, saving time and effort by directing your sales efforts towards the most receptive customers. Just as important, it will avoid non-relevant portions of your install base. For instance, you may be aware that most customers who have purchased product A are also interested in purchasing product B. But which of these products is historically most conducive to premium support or professional services? That's where our analytical methodology comes into play. When it exists within the data, customers with similar market baskets can be clustered to draw conclusions about what they'd be most inclined to purchase next. Also, this webinar will discuss the key benefits of customer-based marketing, the important steps and questions to consider when engaging your existing customers, and how Imix Group can help. So that sums up how the Imix Group uncovers leads before they hit the street. For more information on the subject, please be sure to listen to the full webinar, Discover New Public Sector IT Sales Opportunities. You can access it via the URL on this slide. If you have further questions or are looking to engage our market intelligence team for help leveraging any of these tools, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you for your time.